Hey guys, welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. So, Sly's the only one with a mission, so that's who we're gonna select. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Okay, so there's a few things I actually want to point out before we get started. There's actually no clue bottles and no treasures to find in this game, so there's no collectibles at all. All we have are the story missions, and then we have some challenges after we finish an episode, and that's it. So, there's still power-ups to buy, so we're going to have to do coin runs from time to time to get our coins collected so we can get power-ups. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and start the mission. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Hey, Murray, is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Valencia! Wait! Okay, so this is something new to the Sly series. Actually, I think this is the only game in the series that does this. But we're gonna give it we're gonna be given a few options, and we're gonna have to like pick the right answers in order to get Dimitri to cooperate with us. So gotta think of something to keep him quiet. So I think we're gonna do cutting a deal. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open. But the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! He's right. It'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. So, we're gonna distract the cop so he can get away. How about I get the cop's attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. 
I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out there. Get tough or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. Okay, I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just let me get my note cards back in order. Thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, now the Venice has been seriously connected to our small Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. I can see, da! I can see! Ah, oh, jeez. You look better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Dig? This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in! Okay, so this is also something new. We need to try that again. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Oh, 
Cooper. Grab him, then. And I'm out. Got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. That man will work both ways. That's right. Hide on the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you've cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Murray refuses to join the gang to tell the commitment to his whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected, as non-law operatives will be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Okay, so there's new training challenges are available for Sly and Bentley in the Hazard Room. So we need to go in and finish those up now. can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. 
My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resonant demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god! All fall before me! Let's see what you got. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom function on that thing? Might be fun to snipe at a distance. Yep, it's all on the right analog stick. Try taking out that guard. Might have to zoom in a little. He's pretty far away. Nice. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything! That chair's pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocucop with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught.
There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, Bentley. Let me have it. Well, in order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. Well, that's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Okay, that's enough of that guy. It won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. Crates away! Great. Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Well, hold up. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Where you go? Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Sprint by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. Huh? 
How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you could sneak up behind him. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. your path. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above? That poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah? Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Look for those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? We're all finished. Let's get going on our next operation. Now that's all of them for now, but I still think we have one more batch when we get control of Murray. I think, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I can't remember. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah, so there is two power-ups that we can already buy. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Next time we'll get some coins and then we're going to try to do some missions. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll come back next time.